How's it, everybody? And welcome, Hulk fans. I think he's finally come home. Now, there hasn't been any official announcements yet that Marvel has gotten the license back to The Incredible Hulk, but The Incredible Hulk has appeared back on Disney+. Plus. The movies are there, although I already fucking purchased all the movies digitally. <laughs> he's back on Disney. I think they got the license back, so hopefully... That means we'll have a Hulk movie soon, a standalone Hulk movie. Uh, I know everybody loves the 2018 Hulk. Uh, that one was cool. I thought it was a good Hulk story. I thought Edward Norton was like an all right Bruce Banner. Uh, but I, I think my favorite Hulk movie is the Ang Lee Hulk movie. I felt that one had the best representation of the conflict between Bruce and Hulk. I thought that was super, that was super cool. Um, that I think that was probably my favorite one, but now that the Hulk is probably back home, there's so many possibilities that we could get with the new Hulk movie. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is that we unfortunately probably are not going to get world war Hulk anytime soon or planet Hulk. They started already did planet Hulk, uh, in the second Thor movie or third Thor movie. Uh, we already sort of, they skipped through world war Hulk because in she Hulk, dude flies off bruce comes back at the end of the season he has his son scar with him and there's just no explanation but i guess we are getting i don't know if we're getting red hulk we are getting general ross which i assume will be getting red hulk i don't know there's so many possibilities now but i just hope that we get a decent hulk movie we've been <laughs> The Hulk and the MCU has had a rough time. Uh, MCU Hulk, I think Mark Ruffalo is probably my favorite Bruce Banner. Uh, but this version of the Professor kind of sucks. Uh, the Professor in the comics, he was a shitty person. <laughs> like It was Bruce. And Bruce in the 90s in the comics is not a good person. And I feel like that's part of the allure of the Hulk, for me at least. Uh, reading the, the Professor arc in the 90s, Bruce is not a good person because of the trauma he went through. And I think that's where I think I liked the difference between Hulk and She-Hulk. That's why the show didn't bother me that much because She-Hulk, Jen is very different from Bruce because Jen didn't go through the same type of family trauma and abuse that Bruce went through. Um, so I think that's why I kind of enjoyed her Hulk was different. I mean, the ending of that show, there was like zero payoff. So that's a totally different story. Uh, but now that Hulk is home, there's so many things we could do and uh, we could see. And I'm really excited for that. Hopefully our boy is not nerfed so much anymore. What I would like to see is what I like. I would like to see eventually Hulk versus Red Hulk. That would be cool. Uh, I would like to see more of the like internal conflict between Bruce and Hulk. Whether that's them actually uh, arguing in his mind or what that is seeing them interact more uh professor is going to go away i'm sure they're, they're going to find some way to get rid of him but i think what's what should happen or what might happen is hulk is going to be fighting a, an opponent he can't beat because he can't unlock that savage part of himself anymore because bruce is basically in control of his hulk he's maintaining his anger levels so he can't get stronger because he he's made he's He's keeping a hold of his anger, right? He can't unlock his full savage self. So I think what will happen in the, hopefully in the standalone Hulk movie, is he'll be fighting an opponent that is just mopping the floor with him. And throughout the movie, he'll have to realize that the Hulk is not his enemy. It's not completely his curse. Sometimes to protect the people he loves and cares about, he has to let himself succumb to the Hulk and just be the Savage Hulk. And I think we'll get the return of Savage Hulk. And hopefully get to the point where Hulk now gets more powerful the angrier he gets. Because uh, we haven't seen a ton of that in the MCU. Seen a little bit. Uh, the 2018 movie had a lot of it. Especially the Ang Lee movie had a lot of Hulk getting bigger and stronger as he uh, got angrier. So hopefully we get some of that back. <sighs> Please Marvel do our boy justice please and if the fantastic four are coming i need to see 
Thing and Hulk fight. Okay. I need to see the thing and the fucking Hulk fight because those motherfuckers have scrapped out, have scrapped it out so many times in the comics. I just need to see those two fight. Please, please let me see them fight. Another cool idea now that Marvel has the rights to the Hulk back, I think, is when we had different Hulks, right? We have different Bruce, Bruce Banners. They all look different. What would be cool is because there's so many different Hulks based on his personality, as I think the Hulk is a character that you can have different actors and we could explain it as this is a different Hulk, right? You could have a different actor for the Grey Hulk, a different one for Savage Hulk, for Professor, for Maestro. There's, I think this would be a character in Marvel that we could recast for different Hulks. Um, or even if you have one person to play Bruce Banner, but the different Hulks were being basically mo-capped from different actors. So they look slightly different. Uh, I think it would be really cool if we got Grey Hulk, even if it was like a Disney Plus series. Just have Joe Fix-It in Vegas would be kind of sick. Uh, it would be kind of cool if Joe Fix-It is kind of chilling with Jen for a little bit. I think it would be kind of cool. There's a lot of ideas we have with the Hulk now. Uh, Hulk is a lot more than just smashing, destroying things. It's a big part of his personality, but I think Marvel could do some really cool things. I just don't want to get too excited because we all know. We all know Marvel can disappoint, but we can have hope. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys are excited as I am for the Hulk to finally, finally come back to Marvel.